During your studies at Brighton, you often hear about the concept of student voice. Your voice. Your voice shapes your university. And today, I am joined by Dr. David Walker, our Pro Vice Chancellor for Education and Students, to delve deeper into this topic. The student feedback we receive through surveys, through staff student forums, is an opportunity for us to reflect and also to consider the approaches that we might implement to make things better for our students. Sometimes there are things that uh, we can do quite quickly and we'll try to do that. Sometimes there are things that perhaps we can't do because of resourcing challenges or perhaps because it's not appropriate in terms of academic standards. And hopefully something that we're trying to do is to demonstrate to our students that we do listen. And also when we can't do things, we'll try to explain why. So if we look in the area of assessment and feedback, that's an area that students regularly point to as an area where we could improve. So in the last year, we've agreed a policy position that requires all modules to provide clear and specific marking criteria for every assessment task. Our additional consideration service has been reviewed. Some improvements have been delivered there to simplify the process. And also we've uh, established a clear policy position around anonymity. So all assessed work is marked anonymously unless it's exempt, for example, assessment tasks such as presentations and the like. We've also seen some really exciting developments in relation to the recording of lectures. We're about to launch a rebranded service called Recap and that's in response to student feedback and student needs. This emphasises that lecture recordings are there for revision and review and not to replace lecture attendance. Whether that's through our class representation system, they might become a class rep for one of their uh, year groups for their course, uh, whether that's through contribution to our quality processes, working as part of periodic review panels or supporting the validation of new courses. But crucially, all students have opportunities to have their voice heard through the various feedback mechanisms we have. We are implementing a number of projects to try and improve the student experience. Some of those include the development of new student engagement partners uh, and work to strengthen student engagement within their learning experience. We've got some really exciting projects in the area of assessment and feedback again. Um, we have a, a group looking at our extension to deadline regulations. Our students have said to us they'd like to see those regulations simplified. We're doing some other work as well. So we're looking at how we can improve our mechanisms for communicating to students when teaching sessions may unfortunately be postponed and we will be trying to bring forward some processes around that within the next academic year. David, appreciate you giving us all of this insight during this interview. It is really good to hear that there is quite a lot being done with the student feedback. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you and all your fellow officers. Indeed, every student, your voice, it does shape this university. It makes a genuine difference.